are going to be talking about business opportunity you can tap into during this season because this is the ember month this is october already uh before you know it november december and then january a lot of people will be spending money this time a lot of people are planning for housing you know some people are walking towards christmas uh, clothes and then some people are already thinking of oh uh, it's new year coming we have to change the furnitures in our house we have to you know do this and that a lot of people are planning how to spend in during this uh, you know uh, season but very few people are thinking about how can i make money as this uh, season is coming and of course that's what we want to talk about this morning my guest is already seated in the house financial paul a business uh, and a financial analyst uh, who is going to be doing justice to uh, you know the businesses that you can do uh, you know this particular period good morning financial Paul. Good, good morning, morning dr Lege. yeah you know I, I i really want to talk about this given the okay. fact that i have seen that uh, so many people are focusing on uh what and how they are going to spend yeah. either consciously or unconsciously exactly. some people are not really planning it but, but before you will, know it they, they will, will spend. spend yes because it's december time yeah. it's the end of the year you must spend even organizations are planning that you as spend. the year is wrapping up what yes. do we do for our staff yes. how do we you know make them feel better yes. we want to do mm -hmm. celebration exactly and then you know they are they are putting plans in place yes that okay this is what we're going to do to make them happy and then consciously or unconsciously they are thinking yes, of spending, spending yes. very few people are yeah. thinking how yeah. can we make money yeah. at this time so yes. talk yes. to us this morning financial problem. yeah um, just like you said consciously or unconsciously people are already planning to spend during this seasonal period and the truth is that everybody will spend even you that you are planning on how to make money you will still spend because it's it's like a norm uh, when it's november december um you have to there are some things that must be done take for instance during this period there must be massive killing of chicken and the likes because you know that oh, so many people will be visiting you or you'll be going uh you'll be visiting people so you don't know who would visit you so you want to uh, decorate your house well you want to make it very lively so everybody we always spend so the question is that what are you really thinking more of how can i tap into this opportunity i used to call this season wealth transfer when i knew this was a wealth transfer season was far back 2018 and from then i've been planning for every ember period so at the end of 2018 okay yes 20, no 2017 um november december i could remember i had some fund with me six figures close to like seven hundred thousand naira. i started a business earlier let's say in january and with the help of god it got i was able to save up to that amount so i never knew that oh i was going to take advantage of the ember period so during the ember period we sold a lot of items and in january i was already i've doubled the money in fact i had close to let's say 900 in cash and i have item worth close to 900 so i knew that oh this is my net worth i don't need to have the whole cash so i knew that november december or october november december is the period wealth can transfer to you if you prepare you don't really need to have 700 like i do and that's why i'm going to share some businesses that you need to do so you need to understand that it's the period of wealth transfer companies are going to make money companies are going to sell companies why there are some companies that will still buy because they need to sell take for instance real estate company they buy these um gifts like the bag of rice king oil campers they buy them because they want to sell their landed property so everybody will buy but are you planning on selling because those people that are buying they have a plan of selling at the back of their they are just buying because they want to use support their sales uh, strategy so but majority of people are only planning on how can i enjoy this season it's not bad it's very good 
but you that need more money you need to also uh, can i also make money this season and there are simple, simple businesses that you shy away from that makes a lot of money as, as simple as in fact i'll be mentioning those business i'm surprised do you know that setting out just a shama pot now i picked out this business with some youth majority don't have capital capital is the major issue if i talk about i'm still going into real estate but let's start from the little amount um, low capital startup business do you know that just little has certain out a shower spot in a well populated area or a gra area do you know you can make as much as the five thousand naira sales on a daily basis on a daily basis for the five thousand naira how do i know you know i i talk about finance so reach out to me okay this is the business i do how can i scale up how can i improve so one of these um one of my followers reached out to me i said okay i even know who used to sell in fact sometimes i go there buy like three packs when i'm going home give my family you know, maybe i'm going home with a friend or we just buy spend like one five one thousand or two thousand so he called me and said i need to do a business that you are doing i need to move on and i needed to add the state financial before i can recommend a particular business this that on a daily basis worst case scenario is going to sell shama what four thousand and if you see the dresses very lovely you wouldn't even know that and that is what some people are earning in one moment and this guy is in a front street populated in fact if i mentioned that area now you are going to know so the beauty about this business is that it has to be in a popular area take for instance in look for instance, on Nippon, Oshi, Surulie, places that are very popular, the Keja, GRA, that in the night time people move in. So, and on a daily basis, the worst case scenario on price is 200,000. And this guy is a young guy. Even when he, he buys by you, even doubt if he has 20,000 or 40,000. So I told him, see, just up at this don't even think about kicking off any business think about multiplying these charmers for three for you are in so, so look about look at really look at who should you having different spots now peer for the ember period because you are going to make the money that can help you to move into the big business you mentioned something picking out income in uh, in little little amount of money gathering them together and venturing into a bigger business so i told him because that was the model i did, I, I i had to adopt sold little, little amount of products gathered the money together and kick-started real estate so i told him you are making close to forty thousand dollars sales on a daily basis and in a month you make profit of worst case scenario two hundred thousand dollars do this business from now to you uh, what is it called? See, December. I'm very sure. Save up your profits. I'm very sure that by January, February, you have close to 900 to 1 millionaire. Nobody will tell you what to do with it. You become an automatic investor because you under, you've seen how the money grew from 200 to 400 to 600 to 1 millionaire. So if you look at those businesses, they look awkward because, you know, um, majority have been moved by um, it's good, it's nice looking at the corporate setting and the likes if you are in the corporate setting for experience very cool but if you are in the corporate setting only and you don't get experience it's just money and that money is not enough um that is time wasting but if you know you are getting experience very good because the experience will later produce the money it is what you know that will produce money so you want to look at such a business looking at if you don't have any money capital and that with as little as let's say 40 to 50 000 you can kick off but the selling point is to be in a highly populated area populated yes area. because everywhere you go the lowest amount of shama you get is 500 now yeah. and if you sell to 10 people that is 5 000 and i'm very sure if you're in a populated area few youth youth are the most populated in nigeria so anywhere you are, you will see youth, and they see that stuff as snack. So what is snack? They just pay that 500 and they buy. Yes. So as little as that business might look, it's making a lot of money. If you are watching us right now, 
of course, and you have one skill or the other, and you are not making use of that, your skill, I, I want to say you are wasting it. Exactly. Some people are very good at cooking. Mm. And, you know, irrespective of whatever they are doing, they can still say, okay, because I'm very good at cooking, okay. let me start with, uh, you know, something related to this. to this. And then, so, let me talk to my friends and then start with them from there. And then I grow. So, you, this is, uh, I tell people, we are in the world of, uh, you know, um, skill utilization. You need to look inward. What is it that I can do effortlessly? How can I package it and then start making money from it? Because somebody uh, that is doing shawarma, whatever, would have probably gotten that skill somewhere. Yeah. And then before you know it, you will feel, let me just put up this stand. And then, you know, people will start patronizing. If it's nice, people will come back again. Yes. And then money will start coming. You have to get it. You have to get it. That money cannot come to you if you are not giving out value. You must get it. If you are not giving out anything, money cannot just disappear to you or disappear to your account. If you are thinking that, oh, they will make mistake and send money to my account. If bank make mistake and send money to your account, they will trace you to your house they will knock on your and they will come and take the money. Because I remembered when I presented a check at the bank okay. and they paid me more than expected and it was on a Friday. Okay. So when I got the money, I counted it. I, I could not count it in the bank. Okay. So when I got to, I used the money I wanted to use. So the remaining part of the money, I said, this money is excess, okay. Let me keep it. Mm -hmm. I'll go and give it to them on Monday morning. Right. On Sunday morning, mm -hmm. Sunday, <laughs> the bankers didn't go to they did not go to where <laughs> their service. They came to knock at my gate and say, Sir, we, saw, we know we are the one that made the mistake. We paid you so so I said, I, mean, I was planning to come to your office tomorrow. <laughs> Let, take your money. This is the money. I've already packaged it. Uh -huh. And they said, Thank you. I was shocked. Wow. That uh, it, it was two of them, a lady and a guy. They came. So if you are thinking they will make mistake, pay money to my account, and they will not look after, they will not come for you, it's a lie. So you have to be thinking of yeah. how can I give value exactly. so that money can come to me. Exactly. Because you can't stop needing money. Let me put it that way. Or let me say, if you are running away from expenses, Expenses is running towards you. If you say no, I don't want leave me alone. Expenses to say no, I'm not leaving you alone. I love you. I want to be with you. Expenses is not a respecter of person. It's not a respecter of status or position. Whether you are a daddy or you are a son or you are a mommy or you are a pastor or you are a imam or you are a boy or a girl, expenses is looking for you. And the expenses will get you. That's what the question is. How prepared are you when to you tackle the expenses? To tackle because this is like somebody that we keep coming and we don't stop. As long as you are living. As long as you are living. You keep spending. So uh, for me, if you, the essence of all, all of this is that if you have got any skill, you've got to yeah. start thinking of how can I monetize this, my skill, so that I can have you know, some side uh, income. Yeah. You know, I, I was watching um, uh, one of these uh, people that used to make uh, skits on Facebook. Okay. And, you know, some of those people, the content they are pushing out okay. is not really classy. The information there is shallow. Yeah. But then they keep doing it. Yes. And the people that are liking it are they liking just it. Fall in love with them. And then before you know it, some people will start paying for it. Yeah. So what value are you creating with your skill? Exactly. You know how to make people laugh. You know how to you, you understand fashion. You understand how to cook very well. Or you understand relationship issues. Exactly. Or you are good at um, you know alternative health. Maybe you just know that, oh, if you 
take this tea, this. if yeah. you put this and tea, this your ginger and whatever together, whatever skill, knowledge, no matter how small you think it is, people need them. Start thinking of how you will monetize it because people yeah. are out there, yes. they are looking for you. Yes. And then if you are going to get sorted about your expenses, you've got to face that. You know, I stumbled on a report this morning okay. and then I realized that uh, there is beginning to be a shift okay. in the social class okay. and economic class. Okay. Most of the rich people now, okay. they are now trying to reduce their spending okay. and they are living like average people. Mm. Because they are beginning to see that all the sources of income they used to have back no, there no longer. is getting narrower Shaking. by the day. So the people in middle class are beginning to live like the poor. Mm. So you don't see them go to eat tree every now and then to go and eat. They will just feel we cook. can do something at all. Even though they have the money to do, that. to do that because they are beginning to see that if I spend all of this money, the next one I'm expecting might not come. Okay. And then so the poor are now trying to say, I cannot come and kill myself. Let me go back to the village. Let me go back to the village. And then you see some people that, you know, uh, the, the, the poor people, yeah. call them poor. We, they are poor, poor. You yeah. know, there are some poor people. They still have hope. They still have hope. You know, if you look at an Okada man that is complaining, yeah. To an extent, it will still be better than a pure water seller if you compare maybe yeah, the income. rate at which they are making income. Yeah, so, and everybody is beginning to readjust. And the people that could not adjust are like, look at it, I have to go back to the village. In the village, free house. <laughs> at the village, free food. <laughs> Family members are there. Family members are there. You can walk into anywhere. can anyone. walk into anywhere and then just enter into farm. What do you have there? Eat fruit and then I'm going to be fine. But you want to be in the city? Yeah. You are a young person. Gotcha. You for that future, the expenses that will take care of you is planning for you. You yeah. are not planning for that expenses. But that expenses is like say, okay, you. You are not looking straight. I'm I will show for you. you. Yeah, I will show you. <laughs> and you know, if you don't want the expenses to show you, because when expenses shows a man, that man becomes frustrated. That's why you see a lot of frustration on the street. A professor boxing because of forty thousand. <laughs> you know, <laughs> serious boxing. <laughs> and you know, some wow. people are like, ah, what, "Wow, what has it gotten? Has it gotten to this level?" <laughs> That's why I said expenses is not a respecter of status or person. If you are not planning for it, he's planning for you and then it will get at you. And when it gets at you, you get angry and then, you know, you get frustrated and then it will now look like uh, what's happening to me. Uh, but if you are like the little skills I have, yeah. let me look at how I'm going to monitor. Yeah. What exactly can I do? Look inward. Yeah. Keep, be restless when it comes to how you should make income. Why? Because the expenses are waiting and they can't go away. Yeah. You can't pray about it to live. Exactly. How, how will you pray? Okay, if you say, I'm hungry, Lord, I don't want to take away this hunger. Take away this hunger. It's not possible. Is it possible? No, it's not. So if you if you go for that time, it will come back again. So when you know that this, some of these expenses are stubborn, why not uh, plan, be, for them. plan for them and then when they come, <laughs> you, to them. you say to them. And, and that is just wisdom. Yeah. That is wisdom because wisdom is what we tell you that, look, this thing will happen. What am I doing to solve it when exactly. it happens? So, uh, and so I, I would not want uh, you know, our viewers to look at, okay. if you tell me that I should be doing something that will be giving me 5k, 500,000, well, what is that about? The truth is that all the, if you look at your expenses, um, you know, some that are really taking the money away, they are not that really hmm. big. They are little, little drops. They are little, little drops. But by the time you put it together, you realize that, wow, it's a lot of money. Exactly. And so the question is, where... Uh, what, what am I doing to, yeah. to address this issue? 
And you know, some people that have always been living on some uncles and some uh, brothers that are staying abroad or somewhere and say, ah, you know, my uncle is always there for me. My brother is always... Those ones too, now they are dodging. You call them three times before they pick call and they, they get... They will tell you they are busy. I'll call you back. And by the time they drop your call, they are complaining. <laughs> yeah, this That's one, it. does he not know what Nigeria is saying? Calling me for money every time. And you know, when they give you some money, they don't expect you to come back Amen. for a very long time. Mm. And meanwhile, expenses, you know, keep coming. Mm. So you've got to start exactly. thinking about what What's exactly do I need to be doing, especially at and this time. Dying. Because December is coming. You are going into the new year. Yeah. We should stop this attitude of, uh, uh, you know, this coming year, I'm not going to get this one, and I'm going to start that one, and I'll be making all the money. Ah, I'm going to blow next year. I'm going to blow. <laughs> I'm going to blow. Yes, it's good to be it positive. This year. It's good to be, uh, to have enthusiasm, but it's not enough. It's not enough. Like I always tell people, okay. it's not enough for you to have fighting skill. Okay. But you must have fighting spirit. That's true. Because if you, if you feel, uh, okay, I can get this sorted, I know how to do it, I know I'm, I'm, I can sort this one. You know, a time is coming that you will realize know. that you, all of those uh, skills you've got, it's they are not work. bringing money anymore. And then you'll be like, what else do I need to do? And one of the ways to build fighting spirit is when challenges have not really bombarded you. Now that you are still having little money to spend, yeah. what exactly are you doing about your skill? What exactly are you doing about your sources of income? Yeah. So that as those expenses are coming, yeah. you are swallowing them up. Yes. Okay, yes. so financial poor. Yes, like you, you already mentioned quite a number of these stuff. Because there are so many people that have a lot of skills. And they don't know that people need those skills. Take, for instance, a fashion designer. Now... You can't only make money by sewing for someone. I've said this times without number. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I don't know how I got to know this or how I got to catch this or that. But I expect some people to catch it. There are some fashion designers I reach out to. You can't only make money sewing. Why don't you start doing some vlogs on this fashion stuff? There will always be one complaint or the other. Hey, I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have a good camera. But there's a lady that this was told to, and immediately, all you just need to do is just video yourself when you're cutting. Some people don't know how to cut. All over the world, people want to learn how to cut. And you don't even talk. Just video yourself while you are cutting. You show the material, and you start videoing yourself while you are cutting. And you put a background music, and you upload it on YouTube. What is affecting youth is we need, we want fast money. That's the problem. We want fast money. Take That's a look at YouTube as an instance now. If you start YouTube now, you can't make money in the first you month, second month, third month, fourth month, fifth you month, sixth month. You must have 1,000 subscribers yes, and 4,000 watch, 4, watch hours. In fact, in one year, you might not make money. But the fast um, youths, we are very, very fast. We need fast things. Some of us can't build something for a year and still be waiting to make that money. You know, like I always say, life does not belong to someone doing it fast. Okay. It belongs to someone doing it right. Exactly. So when you are doing it right, yeah. you stay at it, yes. you are consistent with it, yes. you keep doing it, you keep, keep doing, doing it, it. You, will get, you will get there. You get but there. fast, 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 no, 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 life doesn't belong to those who are doing it fast. Exactly. It belongs to those yeah, who are doing it right. right. So if you look at um, the, uh, one of my friends, I, I told her, why don't you do this, do this, do that? Because you might not make that money immediately. You become discouraged. That cannot be videoing something, be uploading on YouTube for four months. But if you keep at it for like a year, the next year, all the work you've been doing will not begin to pay. Now, there's a lady that took this action and she also gets files that she has made or the ones she sees online, she will just match them together. There are so many, all these things are online, how to match pictures together and put background music. She does that for just one minute, get pictures, match different pictures of styles together, then put the background music there, and she uploads it. She just say, um, new style, 
November 2021. And when she did her first video, she got up to five to 4,000 views. I was surprised at how she got that because even me, um, with um, her brother, we recommended such. We've not even gotten 5,000 views on our, on our video. But because our niche is fashion, and a lot of people want to look good. So she got 5,000 views. And before you know it, she got 1,000 subscribers. She's almost at 4,000 watch hour now. It's been like eight months now. And she has been getting 5,000, 2,000, 1,000. Do you know? And once she gets that 4,000 watch hour, she starts earning in dollars. And she can even sell a service. By the time her subscriber base is like 10,000, she begins to sell her fashion um, materials. People can reach out to her to sew through her. People can reach out to her to get materials. So for other people who might be looking at how long will I keep producing some content that will not give me money, I'm hungry, you're telling me to produce content. The road to financial freedom is not instant, it's gradual. That is why um, the richest people in the world now, some of them are already in 2025 or 2027. Exactly. Fact, don't be surprised, your politicians, they have started campaigning for 2023. And you, they, you are, they, they you started are that they, since the last election. Since the last election, as they were doing sewing in of a new or whatever, they started some people started strategy immediately. In fact, I saw a, a, a banner around the Lukwedu axis, and I was like, I was shocked. The banner was everywhere, all the street banners that you can mount on, on, a, on a street light, everywhere. Around the way. I was like, ah, for 2020, we never reached 2023. That was so. These people understand these principles, but we, I know that's the way we are wired. We are energetic, we want fast results. But in growing that income you want, I've never seen anyone who has made it, made it fast, except if he came from a very rich background, that you get whatever you want. But if you must make this money, it's a gradual process. So that is why I actually started from the little business that you can do. And you discover that if you can do this, some people you might not be interested in, in, in the in the in the Sharma business. Of course, even I myself I might not do that. But you know, as another business that you can do, take for instance, you have close to like five hundred thousand here, yeah, is to set up a barbing business. Because people want to look good. Uh, because of time, we might not be able to oh, see oh, oh, a okay. lot of oh, the businesses time, time, we have. Time is really, really gone. Yeah. Uh, it's a pity, but uh, you know for our viewers. I need to tell you that, look, it is wisdom that tells you that, you know, you have to, you have to start with what you have, where you are. Yeah. So you, you don't wait until you have everything. You try as much as possible to start with what you have. Like I always tell people, yeah. if you don't know what to do, you should know where to go. Mm. That is wisdom. If you don't know what to do, you should know where to go. And that's why it's important to surround yourself with people that can add value. Yeah. Not vain people. Not people that takes from you all the time. They are not adding to you. Yeah. So, you know, that's part of what you might need to say, I don't know what to do. I'm confused. At every time anybody is confused, wisdom should tell you that you should know where to go yeah. when you are, you know, when you don't know what to do. And that's where we're going to uh, hang it there this morning. Okay. Um, you know, the show will continue tomorrow, uh, same time, same station. And, uh, you know, as, as much as possible, we are always trying to tell you that look inward. There's always something that you can monetize because you've got to be thinking about business. Money. You've got to be thinking about money because exactly. expenses is not going to leave you. Mm -hmm. uh, so till I come your way again next time, I am saying remain business conscious.